Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we are going to do a full comparison between the iPhone XS Max versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, the Galaxy Note 9 was released in August 2018, while the iPhone XS Max in September 2018. Currently, they are both the best each company has to offer. Now, Apple and Samsung dominate the smartphone market, and they are the biggest rivals. As such, people quickly ask questions, questions such as, is the iPhone XS Max better than the Galaxy Note 9? Or is the Galaxy Note 9 better than the iPhone XS Max? And of course, the most popular request of all, just tell me which one is better. And of course, that's exactly what I'm going to tell you in this video by doing a full side-by-side -side comparison of every aspect of these smartphones. So let's dive in and discover the winner. Also, throughout the video, I will refer to the iPhone XS Max as the Max for the sake of ease. Now, the very first thing I want to take a look at is the build and design. So both the iPhone XS Max and the Note 9 have a similar build quality. Front and back, you will find glass on both smartphones with a solid metal band around the edges. This makes for a high-end build, therefore both smartphones feel like a million dollars when you hold them in your hands. Now, when you move on to the design is where things differ. They both have massive frontal displays and they both look gorgeous. Note 9 has a large and tall display that dominates the screen, leaving tiny bezels on the top and the bottom, while the iPhone Max strives to fill the entire front with a screen. Almost succeeding except for that notch on the front that has been a topic of controversy, some people don't care about the notch, while others simply don't like it. Now you will observe that the bezels on the side of the Note 9 are actually thinner and it sports the signature dual curved edge design. All in all, I must say that the design is a subjective choice, but in my opinion, Note 9 still seems to pull ahead. It seems more clean in overall presentation from the front side. This slight lead could have been possibly avoided if the iPhone Max had somehow eliminated that notch on the top. Now, both smartphones come with water resistance with the exact same water resistance rating of IP68. Rest assured, both phones can easily handle a rainy day or an accidental drop into a puddle of water. Both smartphones offer high quality stereo speakers that produce a loud, deep and rich sound. Perfect for watching movies and videos. Now the Note 9 takes a lead in audio options by offering a 3.5 mm headphone jack while the iPhone Max does not. So to summarize, the Note 9 has a slight lead in this category. It does have a 3.5 mm headphone jack and a cleaner look overall. And of course the build quality on both of these smartphones is well done and both smartphones give the end user a premium in-hand feel. Anyway, let's move on to the processor, memory, and storage. The iPhone Max sports a powerful A12 Bionic processor with 4GB of RAM and can be acquired with 64GB of storage for the base model with available 256GB or 512GB storage model options. Starting price for the Max is $1,100. The Galaxy Note 9 also sports a powerful processor, a Snapdragon 845 CPU or an Exynos 9810 variant in non-US markets with 6GB of RAM on the base 128GB model. Note 9 is also available in a 512GB storage option with 8GB of RAM. Starting price for the Note 9 is $1000. In the storage race, Note 9 pulls ahead. Both in base storage capacity and the ability to expand your storage using a micro SD expansion slot. Using the micro SD card, you can add an additional 512 gigabytes of extra storage to the Note 9. Now, if you move on to the benchmarks, it is immediately clear that the iPhone 10 Max has quite a bit of raw horsepower that kind of blows expectations. The Note 9 is not a slow phone by any means, but iPhone's A12 Bionic chip has accomplished some incredible power output which does come in handy for heavy duty apps and highly graphic intensive games that run with zero stutter. Although iPhone Max has incredible processing power, the Note 9 counters that with more and better storage solutions. This category is an overall draw. Now let's talk about the dimensions. So the iPhone Max measures 157.5 millimeters in height, 77.4 millimeters wide, and 7.7 .7 millimeters thick. It weighs 208 grams. The Note 9 measures 161.9 millimeters in height, 76.4 millimeters wide, and 8.8 .8 millimeters thick. 
it weighs 201 grams. Both smartphones have similar dimensions overall, but in this day and age, dimensions and weight don't seem to have much of an influence on buying decisions. So let's move on to a much more important category, the display. Let's talk about that. The iPhone Max has a 6.5 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 1242 by 2688 with 458 pixels per inches. The Note 9 has a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 1440 by 2960 with 521 pixels per inches. Both smartphones support HDR. Now both of these smartphones have fantastic displays that look stunning from every angle. They're not dull, they're vibrant. The Note 9 is sharp and clear and is slightly more saturated. The iPhone Max is sharp and clear as well with less saturation but better color accuracy. Overall, I cannot really recommend one over the other as they both look very clean and crispy. Only thing I will say is that it feels more immersive to watch movies in full screen on the Note 9 as opposed to the iPhone X Max because the notch seems to bite into the video from the left side. But I will still consider this category a draw, top notch, large and high quality displays either way. So unless you simply do not prefer the notch, this category should not influence your buying decision. Let's move on and talk about the software, another very important category. Let's start with the basics. The Galaxy Note 9 runs on the latest version of Android, while the iPhone Max runs on the latest version of iOS. When comparing iOS and Android, it's hard not to overlook two big differences. Number one is customization. Android system is a much more open-ended environment and allows for extensive customization via widgets, themes, and home screen tweaking. You can tweak an Android smartphone to fit your personal sense of style. iOS, on the other hand, when it comes to home screens, is just a static grid of app icons with very basic customization capabilities, such as being able to change your wallpaper. On the other hand, iOS does offer more polished apps and a greater gaming experience. Just about every game on the iPhone Max, including graphically demanding games, will run at maximum performance with smooth and lag-free gameplay, a feat Galaxy Note 9 won't be able to match. Additionally, the Apple App Store does yield a larger number of quality apps as opposed to the Google Play Store. So if you care about apps and games and how well they perform, this is certainly something to pay very close attention to. Beyond those two differences, the Note 9 is certainly more productive and feature-rich in the software department. It allows for split-screen multitasking, which means you can run two windows side-by-side -side at the same time, and the larger display on the Note 9 certainly enhances the whole multitasking experience. The Note 9 also has the edge functionality. You can swipe inwards from the edges of the display to bring up the edge panels. These edge panels can give you access to app shortcuts, weather widgets, tools such as a compass or a digital ruler, a calculator, and much more. On top of that, it is fully customizable. You can actually add or remove a bunch of panels based on your needs. As a counterattack, the iPhone Max does have 3D Touch, which is a pressure-sensitive screen that allows you to access quick actions and other gestures by pressing down on the screen with a certain amount of pressure. Not a bad feature, but rarely used. But of course, the Note 9 re-counters with the S Pen, which is a fantastic tool designed to offer precision note-taking and sketching on your Note 9. Yes, you can literally draw a masterpiece if you have the skill and patience for it. Additionally, you get access to unique S Pen software functions such as the Air Command menu that could boost productivity and frankly is simply cool. So the S Pen doesn't just allow you to write and sketch, it also adds a good amount of software functionality to your device. So it is clear from everything I mentioned that the Galaxy Note 9 is more customizable, feature-rich and productive overall. However, where Apple wins is the app ecosystem, which is no joke. Like I said, the Apple App Store will offer superb gaming experience and provide more polished and quality apps in comparison to the Google Play Store. For app-driven people, this might be important enough to stick with Apple. Now let's move on and talk about the camera. So let's look at the specs. Both smartphones have a dual camera system on the rear. iPhone Max has a 12 megapixel primary wide angle camera with an aperture of f1.7. The secondary camera is a 12 megapixel telephoto camera with an aperture of f2.4. The Note 9 also has a primary 12 megapixel camera that comes with a dual aperture of f1.5 and f2.4. The secondary camera is similar to the iPhone Max. It's a 12 megapixel telephoto camera with an aperture of f2.4. 
Both of the primary cameras are quite capable. They take stunning daytime shots and produce a clear and sharp image. And even when it comes to nighttime, they both take amazing nighttime shots. Now this is all with the primary camera. The secondary telephoto camera on both smartphones is designed especially for two times optical zoom and being able to take nice portrait photos that will keep your face in sharp focus while blurring the background to create the bokeh effect. When we move on to the video recording, the iPhone X Max and Note 9 are capable of some amazing things. They can record at 1080p at 30 or 60 frames per second and can also record in 4K at 30 or 60 frames per second. However, the Note 9 takes a lead in slow motion recording. It can now record at 960 frames per second uh, slow motion speeds as opposed to the iPhone X Max's 240 frames per second. This super slow motion allows you to capture some really incredible moments if you are into this kind of videography. Now the front cameras on both smartphones take great selfies and are perfect for video conferencing. In this category, the Note 9 takes a slight lead due to its super slow motion recording capability. However, for an average consumer that mostly takes photos and straight videos, both phones offer a very attractive package that will not disappoint and will offer sharp and clear photos in varying lighting conditions. So let's move on to the battery. So the Note 9 has a longer battery life after a full charge. It has a massive 4000 mAh battery capacity as opposed to iPhone Max's 3174 mAh battery capacity. iPhone Max does offer a full day battery life with medium to heavy use, but if you watch too many movies or play too many games, it won't last you all day. But the Note 9 will give you a solid full day with heavy use without a problem, movies and games included. Now both the iPhone Max and the Note 9 offer wireless charging using the same standard which is fantastic. Now the Note 9 has fast wired charging out of the box with the included charging adapter. However, the iPhone Max will require you to purchase the fast charging compatible wall adapter if you wish to utilize that fast charging option. So that's going to be an extra cost with the iPhone, but it's going to be free with the Note 9. But regardless, both phones do offer fast wired charging option. Now in this category, the Note 9 leads in overall battery life and it has the fast wired charger included with your purchase. So the Note 9 does take a bit of a lead here. Now let's move on and talk about biometrics and security. Now in this category, the Note 9 leads in overall tech. It has three ways to unlock your smartphone a fingerprint sensor, an iris scanner, and a basic facial recognition tool. The iPhone Max has only one way to unlock your smartphone, the Face ID. Now the Face ID on the iPhone Max is far superior to the facial recognition tool found on the Note 9. Even Samsung doesn't recommend using the facial recognition tool on the Note 9 as a reliable security measure. So we could potentially discard that option on the Note 9. So what we have is an iPhone Max with a state-of-the-art Face ID system versus the Note 9 with a state-of-the-art iris recognition tool plus the proven fingerprint sensor. So as I said, the Note 9 does have more options on the table, so the win goes to the Note 9 in this category. Now let's talk about pricing and then we will tie it all in a conclusion. The Note 9 has an official price of $1,000 for the 128GB model. And the iPhone X Max starts at $1,100 for the 64GB model. You could also buy a Note 9 with 512GB model, which will cost you a whopping $1,250. But if you try to buy the same 512GB capacity with the iPhone Max, that is going to cost you a massive $1,450. So the Note 9 definitely has a lead in pricing and storage. Anyway, finally, it's time for us to define the winner in this battle. Alright, so it is clear that both smartphones are technological marvels. As a tech package, they offer a lot of value. The Note 9 retains the headphone jack, in my opinion has a cleaner design and gives you more biometric security options. It also has a completely unique S Pen option that is unmatched by any other company adding a whole new dimension of functionality to the Note 9. The Note 9 also has the Samsung DeX capability which converts your smartphone into a full-fledged PC if you so desire. On the flip side, the iPhone Max only has one advantage that is superior to the Note 9. It has a powerful processor, the A12. Otherwise, they both have wireless charging, they offer the same IP68 grade water resistance, and as for the display, they both offer massive and top-notch displays. In any case, looking at all the metrics and seeing how the Note 9 has more technological advantages over the iPhone Max, 
it is easy to conclude that the Note 9 is the better smartphone, also starting at a lower price with a higher base storage. Note 9 comes closer to a perfect smartphone as a total package. It's very important to state that the Note 9 is not very far ahead of the iPhone Max since the iPhone Max is also ripe with the latest technologies. But the Note 9 does have extra features and especially it has the utility of the S Pen. So if someone just simply asks me the question which one is better, I am compelled to say that the Note 9 based on facts. But if someone asks me which one is better for me, then I might end up asking you a few questions to see which one might fit your needs better. But that brings me to the end of this video. So let me know down below which phone do you prefer and why, and whether or not do you agree with my conclusion. All right, so make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech, give this video a thumbs up, and also if you do use Twitter or Instagram, follow me on both at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.